and welcome to another round of sports reviews. Tonight I'm reviewing New York Red Bulls 2, Toronto FC nil. Toronto FC loses, second time in the MLS season, fourth all overall. Not a great game, horrible game. Honestly, the worst loss of them all. This was just nothing. They were not up to it at all. Nothing. Freaking pulseless. They had no pulse, honestly. The goals were scored as follows in the 32nd minute. Frankie Amaya, ball crossed in by Caden Clark, ball cut back by Fabio. Frankie Amaya takes the shot near post. Bono can't save it, can't do nothing about it. 1-0, New York Red Bulls, that's the way it would go into the half. Great shot by Frankie Amaya, but not great defense. The defense wasn't great, but I think it was Bono's fault. Should have been on that, and he just let that go in the far, the near post. Horrible. Then in the 69th minute, Caden Clark. The defense just falls apart. They could clear the ball two times. Omar Gonzalez makes a mistake. They could clear the ball. Caden Clark gets onto it and just... Bono tries to make the save. Rolls in. Caden Clark open net. Taps it in. 2-0. That's the way it would end. And I'm not happy. At all. Toronto was listless. They were just horrible. They had no pulse. They made it. They had two chances. Had good two chances early on in the first 12 minutes. Other than that, they did nothing. Other than that, they had nothing besides those two chances by Akinola and Nelson. Couldn't do anything. Couldn't do anything. Horrible. Listless. No crossing. No forward play, really. They just sat back and took it, basically. Yeah, they pressed, but it wasn't great. They just let themselves lose. Stats were as follows. 11 shots to 5, 3 shots on target to 1, 54% possession to 45% possession, 299 passes to 247 passes, 73% pass accuracy to 66% pass accuracy, 13 fouls to 11, 2 yellow cards to 2, 0 red cards on either side, no red cards in the game, 3 offside to 3, 7 corners to 4, and there you go. Game was horrible. What else can I say? The defense, trash. Offense, trash. They didn't come to play. Hell, Red Bulls didn't come to play either. The Both teams sucked. We just lost at Red Bull Arena because we always lose at Red Bull Arena. Something about it. I don't know. But this team woke up and chose, ah, we're not playing today. Even though we're playing, we're just going to act like it's a training session. They sucked. They had no pulse. They had no forward movement. They didn't care. Two chances, that was it. They didn't care. Io didn't really look great tonight. He didn't look great tonight. Jaden Nelson, my God, Schaffelberg may actually be better. Jaden Nelson was getting bottlenecked, beat up, bodied, just play after play. Three man on him, two man on him. Where was the runs into the box? Where was the runs into the area? Again, it's not great. You want runs into the area, the 18-yard box, the center of it, and you don't have them. It took 12 seconds. Hell, unlike Schaffelberg in the Montreal game, Nelson couldn't even hold on to the ball long enough to make those passes, to make those crosses. He couldn't even try to save the play. He got bodied. Absolutely bodied. Dude needs to get his weight up and get his muscles up. He got bodied. I know he's young, but he got bodied. Didn't look great. Io, no service, but even when he got it, didn't look great. Delgado on the wing? Yeah. If Moro was playing the wing and they dropped Delgado back to center mid, couldn't tell a difference because that was even worse. Couldn't tell a difference. That was even worse. Only thing that really was a bright spot in this game to me was Jefferson Soteldo making his debut. Yes, Jefferson Soteldo made his debut. He was the only one who had a spark to him. He was fighting. Now, his crosses weren't great, but he fought, and that's the thing. He had run. He had power. He had fight. The rest of the team, not so much. Jefferson Soteldo is the only one who tried. That's the point. He was only on for about 35 minutes. 
He should have been on the whole second half. Not that it would have mattered because, you know, they blew it themselves. Um, but Soteldo, pretty good first appearance for him. I loved watching Soteldo play. For me, this team's got to do something different. This team, and Red Bulls weren't great either. They were ripe for the picking, and we choked. Choked. That was the worst performance of any of our opponents, and we let them beat us pretty handily. You've got questions to ask. Hell, I've got questions to ask. That was a joke. An absolute joke. For me, I've got questions to ask. And you could say, but Ryan, you went and bold-faced Armis out in the live stream. One, I was pissed off. Second of all... That Leon tie, everything since then has been a downward spiral. Either the team is not good enough, and I learned something. The youth players, even without Vanny, they may have some sort of tactics. They're not running around like chickens with their heads cut off. They're still not good. You can't rely on them. It's not Vanny's fault they never won when they rotated. They just had no tactics. But even with tactics, they're not great. So, maybe that's something I should apologize for, but I won't. I have too much pride for that, so I won't. But, I have too much pride for that, so I won't. But, I have my questions. That's all I'm saying. I have my questions to Armis. And I don't think, I do not think that this team, with Pozuelo coming back, when Soteldo and Pozuelo start together, I don't think that's enough. I really don't. We need a new center back. We need Westberg to start. There are things that need to be changed. I'm not I'm not saying I knew I went too far, but I was kind of pissed off. I'm tired. I didn't get much sleep, so that probably could help. Um I'm just going to say that, but honestly, there are questions to ask. I just went too far in the live stream. I went too far, but there are questions to ask. He's not infallible after, like the Leon tie made it look. And I'm not saying he was my top choice because he wasn't. And you could be like, but you were putting him over all offseason and then you were like laughing like the Leon tie. You were right. Maybe I wasn't, but I still want Maurizio Sari more than him. And oh, guess who doesn't have a job? Maurizio Sari. But we better go for him if we sack Armis. But. For me, I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm just saying if it does. But there are questions to ask. There are things to change. He's too stubborn for his own good. Vanny was too pragmatic for his own good, but Armis is too stubborn for his own good. And that's honest. That's honest. The dude only does what he thinks is right. And even if he makes a right sub, the next sub he makes after that is a stupid one. The Moro Prezo sub. Like that. It's stupid. Oh, Patrick Mullins for Io Akinola. That's a good idea. One good sub in the game. That's it. He's too stubborn for his own good. That's a problem. Sometimes you, may, you have to be pragmatic. I'll admit it. You have to be pragmatic sometimes. Don't be so stubborn as to shoot yourself in the foot. That's the facts. I'm sorry. He's too stubborn. He really is. This team needs changes. The press, the all-out pressing, I like how they force mistakes, but is it really working? No. We have geriatrics in our team. Hell, my Nana, when she was still alive, could move faster than some of these guys. Honestly. Absolutely honestly. Omar. Slow. Bradley, slow. Zavaleta would probably be a better starter than Omar at this point. And you bought a right back instead of a center back. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, that's smart. Quentin Westberg, he better be the starter. I'm tired. Bono's done. He's absolutely finished. He's done. I don't care. He's done. Should have been done after Cruz Azul. Why has Westberg not gotten a shot? Again, stubborn. Too stubborn for his own good. Westberg ain't got a shot. 
Armus is too stubborn for his own good. That's another one. Let's see here. Trying to force square pegs into round holes? Ain't working. I like Chris Armus. Seems like a cool dude. Got us one of our biggest wins ever. But other than that, it's been a downward spiral. And maybe it was the Leon tie. Maybe it was like, oh, we did great against Leon. When really, they're the only one of the teams that we face that haven't finished their chances. They kind of crapped on themselves. Whole, wholesale. Montreal? No. Vancouver? No. Cruz Azul? No. New York? No. Leon? Crapped on themselves. That's the facts. We kind of got helped by them choking on a chicken bone. Seemed like a fairy tale, because it was, frankly. All I'm saying is there need to, cha need to be changes. Or you will get sacked. Or you will get hounded out of this club. I'm warning. This is a warning shot. Alright? I'm not saying, like I did in the live stream, I went too far. I'll admit that. But that's a warning shot. That's what you're going to be hearing in five weeks when you don't, or maybe eight to ten, if you don't make the changes that need to be made at this point. The honeymoon period is over. The Leon high is gone. All right, buddy? It's gone. It's gone. Fix up, or I want sorry. Fix up, or we better get sorry before he gets snapped up by Tottenham. Or freaking anybody else. Fix up or you're out by August. I'm just saying. Or I want you out by August. Fix up. Fix up, Armis. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. Stop being so stubborn. It ain't going to work, buddy. The perfect system is not going to work. And I'm the guy who wants all out offensive football. I should support what you're doing. But maybe... I can also be pragmatic. Not too pragmatic like Mr. Fraud, but pragmatic enough to understand that maybe you can't force round pegs into square holes. You can't do it. So there you go. It's, you got to fix up. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to hold back. And I want to give you time with Pozuelo and Soteldo starting. And Soteldo was a light today. He was the only bright light today. He was the only ray of sunshine today. Okay. For me, I want to give you time. I really do. But damn it. Damn it. You, you got to stop being heart to heart. You have to stop being stubborn. And I know this is not going to get to you because it won't. But if it does... You're too stubborn for your own good. I'm trying. At least the fans are going to hear this. But they'll agree. I think the fans are going to agree that you're, stub you're too stubborn for your own good. It is what it is. I'm sorry. It is what it is. So there you go. For me... There's got to be some changes in this squad of the way they play. And maybe Pozuelo's going to make most of those changes. Maybe Soteldo and Pozuelo together are those changes. But we don't know that until we see it. That Leon was a fairy tale. That Leon tile was a fairy tale. And now we're seeing the harsh reality of us falling down to earth. And we got to stop it before the bleeding gets too bad. It's early, I know, but damn it, you gotta, you gotta stop the bleeding. So that's all I'm gonna say. This team was dreadful today. Top to bottom besides Soteldo. It was dreadful. Absolutely dreadful, but hey, it, there you go. It was dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. That's all I could say. Horrible defensively, horrible offensively, horrible in the midfield, we got outworked by a just as dreadful team and outbeaten by a just as dreadful team in the Red Bulls. That's how bad today was. They were dreadful too, and we got our we got our butts kicked up and down the pitch. Besides the first 15 minutes. So with that said, fix up. 
There's got to be some changes. Fix up. Fix up. Or you're done, buddy. Your goose may be well cooked by July if you don't fix up. That's all I'm saying. Hate to say it, but it's true. Make the changes. Make the changes that need to be made. Stop worrying about Pozuelo getting to 100. I bet he wants to play right now. Pozuelo is a fighter. If he can play, he wants to play. Stop babying him. Okay? One. Second of all, Westberg and goal. Third of all, Soteldo and Pozuelo together. Let them run the show. All right? Fourth of all, start somebody other than Omar Gonzalez. Maybe move up Lorea to the other wing. Maybe that's what Kamar Lawrence was for. So maybe that's already good. For me, that's all you got to do. Make changes or your goose is cooked. Or our goose is cooked, not just yours. But mostly yours. There you go. As in your job, not you as a... You get my point. Not you as a person, your job. But you get my point. You as a manager, not as a... Yeah, yeah, you get my point. So with that said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Wednesday, I don't know if I'm doing a live watch along. I may do it. But at least RSR for Toronto Columbus. So there you go. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace. Let's do better, friends. We got to do better. Fix up. I'm out.